If you're interested in learning more basic Junos commands, be sure to check out our Introduction to the Junos Operating System course. For full details, just visit juniper.net slash courses and search for the course in the keyword search box. You can also see our complete learning paths at juniper.net slash learning paths. Now let's get to your learning bite. Hello and welcome to the Log Filtering on a Junos Device Learning Byte. I'm Gordon Mosley with the Education Services Department at Juniper Networks. Let's get started. After successfully completing this learning byte, you will be able to filter log output on Junos devices using the CLI. Junos Operational Mode provides a show log command that can be used to view the contents of any log file on the platform. The command is show log followed by the path to and the name of a log file. The default path of a show log command is the var log directory on the system. As long as the log is in var log, the command can be simply show log in the name of the log file whose contents you'd like to view. Junos is a Unix-based operating system, and as Unix devices do, var log is where all log files by default are stored. And by default, all log messages are logged to a file called messages. So if I would like to view the messages log file, in operational mode I would type show log messages and hit enter. Now when I do that line by line I will see the output of the entire contents of the messages file which on a production device can be a very large amount of information to process. So the focus of this learning byte is how do we filter this output to make it less information that we have to process. At the end of a show log command I'm able to filter the output by specifying a pipe symbol and then any of several operators available to me inside of the Juno CLI. A common operator is the pipe followed by a match operator. If you're a Unix person or, or familiar at all with the pipe grep concept, uh, it's the beginning of a filter. It, pipe match works very, very similarly. I would say show log messages, but don't show me everything. Just pipe match in this example link down. I only want the Juno CLI to display to me log entries that contain the string linked down. If the variable that I'm looking for has any spaces, it must be surrounded by quotes. I can build more complex filters if I desire. Uh, for example, I can do some anding. Uh, I can use more than one pipe match in a show log command. In our example, show log messages pipe match. I only want to see log entries that contain the string linked down, but I also want to match that with another variable. In our example here, giggy 3 So I've included two pipe matches, and you can include more if you'd like to build more complex search strings. So in this example, I'm only going to see log entries that contain the string linked down and also Giggy 3 I can OR a show log output, show log messages, and in this case to begin an OR it's simply one pipe match followed by the values you would like to search for separated by pipes and surrounded by quotes. So show log messages pipe match kernel or panic or error will display log entries that contain any of those three strings. I can combine a pipe match with other available operators. For example, show log messages pipe match link down, but I don't want to see all of the entries in the messages log file that contain the string link down. I just would like to see, for example, maybe the last 100 lines in the message file that contains the string link down. So I can combine a pipe match with a pipe last followed by the number of lines I'd like to be displayed. Let's connect to an MX80 device and see how these work. I have a console connection to an MX80 Junos platform and let's begin by executing a show log command and I would like to see the contents of the messages file. So show log messages and hit enter will display screen by screen the entire contents 
of the messages log, and that can be, again, a lot of information for an administrator to process. So let's try to build some filters to reduce the amount of information that we have to process. So I'll run the same show log messages command again, but now I want to include a pipe and any of several available operators. One of the things that's kind of handy, if I ran show log messages and just hit enter and read through all that output, how many lines of output would I have to read? One of the operators available to me is simply pipe count. And it won't display the contents of the log, but it will count how many lines of information is stored in this file that I may need to, to read. 485 lines is probably more information than I want to sit down and read this morning. So uh, let's look at some other operators besides pipe count. One of the ones we analyzed on the previous screen was a pipe match. And remember, this is the beginning of a, of a filter now this particular MX80 is a lab device and so it's reconfigured quite frequently and I noticed that looking at the messages output a lot of the entries in here are related to this platform being rebooted. I can see the init daemon you know, terminating processes and then on the other side of the reboot kind of spinning processes back up again. And so maybe what I'm looking for here on this device today is when was this device rebooted and, and who did it? So I just want to see log entries related to a reboot. So let's do a pipe match, followed by the value that I'm looking for, in this case reboot, and it will only display log entries that contain the string reboot in the particular log entry. We saw earlier that we can build more complex filters, for example, to come in and and a particular show log process. So I'm going to try to reduce the output I have to process even more by requiring a couple of strings that must be present in a log entry. In this particular reboot entry, I can see it's the only one that was created by the event daemon on the platform. So I can be more specific and only look for log entries that contain the string reboot and the event daemon, and I only have one particular log entry displayed. So again, a lot less information to process. We saw as well that we can do an OR. So maybe I'm looking for, and remember if you're doing uh, an OR, it's one pipe match and what you're ORing for surrounded by quotes. So I'm looking for anything related to reboot or I'll just pick a process, a, a firewall. So I'm looking for either one of those two strings in a particular log entry. So I, I can see you know, firewall related entries and reboot related entries combined in this particular output. There are other operators available for you to experiment with and they may help you reduce the amount of information and speed your time to troubleshooting a particular issue. So take time to experiment with filtering the output of logs on Junos devices. In this Learning Byte, we learned how to filter logs on Junos devices. For more information about Juniper Network's training and certification offerings, please visit our website. Thank you. Visit the Juniper Education Services website to learn more about courses. View our full range of classroom, online, and e-learning courses. Learning paths, industry segment and technology specific training paths. Juniper Networks Certification Program, the ultimate demonstration of your competence. And the training community, from forums to social media, join the discussion.